Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. I am Dr. Rishabh Jain. Heartiest congratulations to everybody who has gotten a good rank in NEET PG. However, in this video, I want to talk to you about the upcoming INICT May 2023 exam that is to be scheduled on 7th May. So let's get started with this video. So first of all, a brief introduction about me. Uh, I am Dr. Rishabh Jain. I have done my MBBS from Ames, New Delhi and my post-graduation in Radiology from PGI Chandigarh. I secured a rank 4 in AIMS PG back in July 2018 and a rank 11 in PJ Chandigarh PG entrance exam in July 2018 from where I did my post-graduation. So first thing first, NEET PG has results have come out and first of all a big 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 great congratulations to everybody who has gotten a good rank and is aspiring to get his or her branch of his choice in the upcoming NEET PG counselling. I know PG entrances is one of the toughest uh, time of a medical graduate and believe me PG entrance exams are much tougher than PMT exams because the syllabus is humongous and you don't get back a question paper and new questions come frequently. Alright, so first of all celebrate your success, you deserve to, you deserve to celebrate, sit back and relax, absorb all this, call your parents, call your girlfriends, call your boyfriends hang out with your friends, celebrate, let it out. However, all of those who did not get their rank of choice or their desired rank in this NEET PG, please, please, please do not get disheartened. There's a very big exam coming up on 7th May, that is INI CT, July uh, session. And now INI has a lot and lot of seats, even lot of clinical seats as well. And believe me, INIs have become pretty good. So earlier when INI is opened in 2012, their standards have drastically improved over the last 12 years, 10-11 uh, years. And even uh, second generation aims like Jodhpur, Rishikesh, uh, Patna, uh, what, uh, Bhopal, Bhubaneswar, they have really grown well and have good clinical seats and super speciality seats in them. So don't miss out on that opportunity. And the biggest, of, biggest advantage of an INI seat is a lack of a bond. And believe me, you'll realize once you enter PG that having no bond gives you so, so much freedom. Okay, so do take this INICT seriously. And in today's video, we'll discuss the upcoming INICT strategy, how you should plan your exams. So today is March 14th and the exam is on 7th May, right? So you have around 53 days in total to plan out your preparation. In this video, I've decided this, I divided these 53 days into first 43 days and the less, uh, last 10 days I've kept for revision because in my opinion, you have to have to revise the entire syllabus in the last 10 days so that it remains fresh in your memory and believe me, it will excel your rank, it will improve your rank dramatically if you're able to revise the whole syllabus in the last 10 days, okay? So we have around 43 days to cover the entire syllabus. So there'll be, I think, two sets of students who would be giving INICT first first uh, set of students are those who did not get a good rank in this NEET PG maybe rank between above 10k they might or may or may not get the branch of choice in the college of their choice and hence they should definitely give up the INI, give the INICT because there's a huge chance that you'll get a good rank since you've already read the syllabus and the second set of students would be I think who are freshers who have not started their preparations well who have not strategized their preparations. So I've also given them a plan for studying the, in these two months. And I believe that even freshers should give this INICT with complete conviction because they do still stand a chance to get a good rank. So first we'll, uh, first we'll discuss the first set of students who have already read the syllabus once and uh, due to some revision, uh, due to lack of revision or lack of time, they were not able to give their 100%. So what should they do? So just two words of advice for them, revise and do PYQs, revise and do PYQs, revise and do PYQs. Okay, so which subjects to revise? Yes, so first prof, second prof, and minors. These three things they need to need to revise because 60% of the paper will be from first and second prof remaining 10 to 20 will be from minors. So you cannot miss first, second prof and minors. Major subjects you should do after you have completed these first prof, second prof and minors. Among majors start with Opskiny, do biostats, in surgery just to limited topics like trauma, breast, thyroid, 
general surgery very very important general surgery including burns and lastly gi gi like gb especially hepatobiliary colon and hernia in medicines if you have time and if you only have time definitely definitely do emergencies one question will be definitely asked from ecg one or two questions will be from acid base balance you cannot afford to miss these two topics and most of the question will be either from some scoring systems some clinical scenario given to you in emergency setting or some medical emergencies like stroke dka sh etc etc and lastly do peeps you can opt out to not do ent ophtha radio and anesthesia if you don't have time because special ent ophtha it takes a lot of effort to understand the subject i remember i left ent uh, in my pg and i did not study it still got a rank for in aims pg so the 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 effort you put in and the outcome that comes out of it is a little less in my opinion so if you don't have time you can skip these four subjects right and where to revise from so i have told you what to revise now where to revise these things from so i think revision notes at this point should be your bread and butter for revision don't go for main notes if you have not highlighted them if you have highlighted them and made it made crisp notes out of them definitely you can read the main note but if you haven't then i think trust yourself trust your memory that you will be able to recall from the main notes but revise from the revision notes only okay don't read the complete main notes it will be a waste of time if you have your own condensed notes you can use those and lastly if you are using some kind of last minute revision points or if you have a annotated first aid i think annotated first aid if you have it nothing like that because that is in my opinion the most condensed and complete form of information which will be helpful for you in iict okay so go for revision notes go for material which you can revise quickly in these last 40 40 days okay don't do main videos don't do main videos at all main notes don't do trust your instinct okay the second point is previous year questions now previous year questions i think is a must must especially for iict because iini is obsessed with previous year topics the same questions will not repeat i'll tell you the same questions will not repeat majority but the same topics will definitely repeat okay so if there is a question from leukemia once they'll ask biophenotypic leukemia sometimes they'll ask something else but in general you'll get a hang ki okay acute leukemias are an important topic in pap you cannot afford to miss them okay similarly in trauma questions might get twisted questions might not repeat exactly but trauma in general is a very important topic in surgery so like these you'll have around 200 to 250 topics of entire 19 subjects which you should be able to revise now how will you get to know which are the important topics so the first thing in my opinion is previous year questions okay so previous year questions tell you exactly objectively which are the topics that are asked again and again and so previous year questions you can make it as a backbone ki jo usme se pucha gaya hai mujhe wohi topics aayega but this will require time okay when you are doing previous year questions you will have to note down which which topics each subject had questions from if you want something ready made for you i think lot of instagram pages these days have previous year topics which have been asked previously i i remember uh, sign up sharing few of the important topics on her instagram page similarly when you are scrolling instagram it's a good idea to follow important instagram pages i'm sure lot of people of a uh, lot of you already know this but you'll readily get this information ki which are the important previous year topics nowadays right so at least do five year of previous year questions at least both neat and i and i okay and uh, 80% of your question paper will be from your previous year topics right 60% of which will be first and second pro so if you have to revise one thing you should definitely revise first and second prof okay now some faqs uh, which app you should use um, so i in my opinion all the apps that, that are available in the market today are good you can use any one which you use for your neat pg preparation no need to use any other app and whatever app you are using use revision notes you, you use revision notes of that platform all right how many years of pyqs as i told last 5 years both neat i and i anywhere from whether your app you are using all apps have a previous year question section in them 
all previous few questions are now available freely on YouTube. If you want to use it while sleeping, just half an hour before sleeping, you can just uh, search for, let's say, need PG 2022 radiology recall or medicine recall or ops any recall. You'll get a video. You can watch it in 2x and finish it in 15 minutes, right? If you want to use Aditya has a really good app, uh, Reflex, which has last 10 years previous year questions, you can use it as well. Or you can use books like Pratesh Singh, etc., which give you previous year questions in hard copy format, right? Yes, very important topic of GTs. How many GTs you should give? I think at this point, only two in my opinion. Uh, one at the end of March and uh, one in mid-April and that's about it, okay? So don't go after GTs too much. Like every week, some people give GTs every week. Some people even give GTs two GTs a week. I think GTs do not represent the main exam as of now. Their recall is a little poor. Most of the apps that give GTs uh, try to promote their own question bank through their GTs. And I don't think GTs giving GTs uh, frequently improves your rank. So in my opinion, sticking to two GTs at this point would be a good, good uh, strategy. How many hours to study? So at least 10, you should, you should study at least 10 hours uh, a daily from now for the next 40 to 50 days, because if you are able to do that, believe me, you'll get a top 100 rank. Okay. Is first aid mandatory? Not at all. First aid is not at all mandatory. If you already have your concise uh, notes, concise material with you, which you've already read. If you've already read that material, you read it. Do not go for first aid at this point because it will just create a FOMO in your mind and it will take up your time. If and only if you think that you have few subjects in which you are not able to revise them quickly, you can go for first aid if you have paucity of time and preferably for these four subjects, biochemistry, micro, pharma and psychiatry. Okay, For this, I think first aid is complete in itself and uh, is very concise as well. Okay, so for people who have already prepared well for NEET PG, however, could not uh, give their 100%, could not revise their entire syllabus, towards, uh, to advise for them, do previous questions and revise in a concise limited amount of time. Last 10 days are very, very important. Okay, so the second set of people would be those who are fresher, okay, so who have not prepared well for INI or for NEET PG in this session and thinking, okay, we'll prepare from this time. So if to those, first of all, I would like to say that do give this INI CT seriously. Try to complete all the subjects in the manner that I have shown. Even if you're not able to complete 100% of that subject, at least 60% you should uh, complete and try to give INI uh, seriously. Okay. So first reading should be done in around 43 days from now and I'll give you a timetable how you should or how you can do that. And again, last 10 days, you have to keep for revision, right? Now, in this first reading, you have to complete the first and second prof at least, okay? Try to complete first and second prof and add biochem, physio, path, pharma, micro. Now, FMT is not part of the subject, but I'll still consider it part of second prof because it was during my time. So, at least try to complete these seven subjects and, and minors, okay? Among minors, also, you can leave ENT, OFTHA, anesthesia, radio, okay, you can leave this and medicine peats also you can leave. Don't, don't read it. At least do first, second prof, do ortho, FMT, derma, and surgery just do breast and trauma in obs gynae, at least do gynae, at least do gynae onk and some basic obs. If, if, even if it's not basic obs, at least gynae onk you do and just buy a stat. Okay, so if you give, uh, four days each to the first and second pro subject. So I have uh, an ad biochem path, micro, pharma and physio. If you give four days each, that makes it 24 days for first and second prof. And for minors and final year subject majors, I've counted 17 days because two to three days for one minor and a major. Even major final prof subjects require only two, three days in my opinion, because there is a very limited amount of topics in final year subjects, which you have to read, especially medicine surgery and even beat. Okay, CCM, in CCM, mein, uh, INI only focuses on biostats, so reading the whole CCM, don't waste your time. Biostats is much more high yielding. So in around, in around 41 days, you'll be able to complete at least first and second prof and some important minors. 
I'll still kept two days for your buffer uh, buffer revision in case you are not able to complete one subject. You can try to finish it in these two days, and in the last ten days, revise whatever you have read. Even if you have read sixty percent of a subject, uh, revise that. Don't please don't extend uh, one subject at least the first and second prof more than four days. Even if you complete sixty to seventy percent of fifty to sixty percent of a syllabus. move on to the next subject okay because the width is much much more important than the depth of a subject uh what to read now for these subjects only revision notes if you have time revision videos no main videos no main notes right can you use first aid yes you can use first aid especially for biochemistry micro uh, psychiatry and pharma even i would say biostats okay first aid is very good for that and way to practice questions from do previous year questions only subject wise whatever app you use if you if you want to use just previous year question app you can use reflex which is an app by aditya but just do previous year questions okay five years at least pyqs both neat and i9 and any gt that you guys should give yes i think only one gt you should give please don't give lot of gts because it will create fear in your mind कि ओ मेरी तो रैंक अच्छी नहीं आ रही थिंक वन जी टी एट दिस पॉइंट इज अ गुड आइडिया कि अच्छा एग्जाम का पैटर्न क्या है हाउ शुड आई मैनेज माई टाइम इफेक्टिवली इन द एग्जाम विच एज विच एवर सब्जेक्ट यू हैव रेड इन दीज फोर्टी थ्री डेज रिवाइज दैम इन द लास्ट टेन डेज एंड जस्ट वॉमिट वॉमिट इट आउट इन द ऑन द डे ऑफ एग्जाम ओके सो दिस वॉज अ स्ट्रैटेजी फॉर फ्रेशर जस्ट टू रिवाइज फॉर अ फ्रेशर Uh, do concise revision at least of first second prof and few minors only major in majors only important topics if you have time if you don't have time first second prof that's it please do that at least revise in the last 10 days 5 years pyq for someone who has given uh, his or her neat pg revise and do pyqs and that's about it believe me you should uh, give inict really seriously because a lot of good colleges and good branches you can get in ini and there is no mod which is a very very big point so i hope this video was helpful to you uh, all the best for upcoming ini and have a nice day good night